fucking was up for, bud? You are a fucking maniac, man. Look at me. Fair play, son. There's plenty of wood have bottled it and done a run out of and you stood your ground. Good for you, I'm proud of you. Good. Who was he then? Who? Geez, you was just fighting. Oh, Jeremy Van fucking Holden. You've done yourself proud, mate. Well, now we've all stopped kissing each other's ass. He's got a point out. It's the first bands he threw. Yeah. A little bit on the feminine side. What? Bit gay. Larry Grayson. Larry Grayson. Come on. 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 How'd you feel? Oh, a little sore. Ah, uh, English breakfast, double dose of aspirin. You feel sweet as a nut, mate. <sighs> yeah. I got a piss like a racehorse. Fucking journals. Look at this. West End wins 3-0 in a blinding performance, and our little scrap makes the headline. Bloody muckrakers. So, what is this? Bollocks journal. Bullshit. No, no, this. Yeah. The GSE. Shh. Wow, it's son. What are you guys, like an organized political movement or something? No, mate. We're a firm. You never heard of a firm in the States? No. All right. Every football team in Europe's got a firm. Some have two. Christ, I forgot how clueless you Yanks are. Or you've seen a bus at the stadium rides on TV, innit? Come on. See, West Ham football's mediocre, but our firm is top-notch and everyone knows it. The GSE, Green Street Elite. Arsenal, great football, shit firm. The Gooners. Tottenham, shit football and a shit firm. The Yids, they're called. I actually put their main lad through a phone box window the other day. What about Millwall? Ah, Millwall. Where to even fucking begin with Millwall? Millwall and West Ham firms hate each other more than any other firms by far. Sort of like the Yankees and the Red Sox. More like the Israelis and the Palestinians. <laughs> we haven't played Millwall in ten years. Their top boys is geezer named Tommy Atcher. Horrible old cunt. Back in the Majors day, Tommy's son was killed in a scrap. After that, he went completely mental. Lost the plot. Well, who's the Major? Ah, the Major. Quite a legend around here. He ran the GSE in the early 90s when I was coming up. Hardest bastard you ever saw. They say we kind of lost our way when he left. But believe me, my boys are bringing the old GSE reputation right back. So basically, firms are gangs? Kind of. But we're a far cry from all that Bloods and Crips bullshit. I mean, shooting a machine gun out of a moving car at an eight-year-old girl. That's just cowardly. See, we might be in a fight and all that, but it's really about reputation. Humiliating another mob in a row, or doing something that the other firms get to hear or talk about. Like a Yank in his first fight, battering one of Birmingham's main lads. <laughs> yeah, love, sit down. Thank you. Is that all right? Well, Pete, I don't know how to thank you for what you did for me. I'll give another four. Yesterday was a good result for us. We had a laugh, we had a few points, cheered on the mighty Hammers. We was completely outnumbered, but... We stuck by our mates and we stood our ground, no matter what happened. That's what it's all about. Look at the fucking state of him. I don't fucking start, right? What did I say to you? I said to you one simple thing, no trouble. It had nothing to do with me. He's walking home, he gets jumped. Bruv, he's lucky we was there. Yeah, that's right, Pete. I mean, you're a real hero, ain't you, mate? And you saw the old thing from your sofa, did you? Tell you what, bruv. You concentrate on your family and leave my business to me, all right? My family? What is it with you? What is it with you, eh? Do you want Mum to come and visit you and Nick? Is that it? Maybe you want the plot next to Dad. Oh, my God! Man, what happened? Shannon, I'm fine. Hey, can't you see what you're doing to this family? Oh, I see. He's a scared old man. Don't say to me like Get off him! You've got the wrong idea! Stop it! Stop it! Hey, leave it! Fuck out! Get out! Babe, I'm so sorry. Well, 
Well, that weren't the smartest of me tonight. But thanks, yeah? Fancy a pint? No. Oh, come on. You're the one's got to buy the bleeding thing. <laughs> Get your cash out, the fat bird's about to sing. So you Let's still see got it. your dough, you got it? Yeah, dough. Oh, fuck. Oh, shut up. Jesus, you two joined at the fucking hip or what? Leave it there, Paul. It's getting old. Nah, I'm starting to wonder about you two. I mean, if I didn't know any better, I'd say you was a couple of gay boys. We've known each other a long time, yeah? I trust you more than any other bloke I know. But you're getting dangerously close to crossing the line with me. If you've got a problem, then it's your fucking problem, not mine. But if you want to discuss it further, we can go outside. Beers, boys. Hey, Bob. Come on, show a shot, mate. Hey, come on. Come. Fuck with that. Come on, come on with game, mate. I can't believe that you came all this way and you didn't even stay the night. I just don't want to mess anything else up for you. Oh, you didn't mess anything up. So, you and Steve are okay? Yeah. Yeah, we're fine. All right. I'll call you from Pete's. Matt? Please, don't go. It's just, you know, Steve feels so horrible about what happened, and he really wants you to stay with us, and so do I. I don't want you to stay with Pete. Well, I want to stay with Pete. You know, Pete and his thug friends aren't the answer. What are you talking about? What answer? <laughs> it's just, you know, I've, I've been begging you to come and visit me for the last three years, and you... You didn't even come to my wedding, and it's just you don't know my husband, and you haven't even held your nephew, and you show up on my doorstep yesterday, and you're leaving already, and... Well, Look who's talking. I mean, you ran to another fucking country after Mom died. I'm sorry. Jeremy Van Holden? Sounds like a cunt. Mate, if he'd done that to me, I'd smash seven shades of shit out of him. <laughs> Sounds like these Harvard boys are slit your throat in your sleep. What was you studying? Before this geezer stitched you up. History. History? I teach history. You teach? Yes. Cheeky slag. History and PE. What, do you think the GSE paid a bloody wage? Mate, I'm smart as fuck. Come on, it's brass monkeys out here. Class, today we have an extraordinarily distinguished guest. Mr. Buckner is an American who went to the finest university in the United States. Harvard. But despite his prestigious education, Mr. Buckner still thinks that baseball is better than football. Oh, oh, I know, boys, it's an utter sin. Now, it's our job to save this even from his evil ways and teach him what really matters in life. And that is... Football! Exactly. We're going to play five aside. Mr. Buckner will be goalie for the away colours. Now, go easy on him, boys. You know how these Americans bruise. <laughs> right, so how do we keep this fair? I should let every other ball go through or something? I wouldn't worry about that, man. All right. You ready? 